to each his destiny, to each his fate. We all are wanderers in a foreign land between the furrow and the stars. In old Jerusalem, upon a day which echoes down the corridors of time, a wanderer begins his endless pilgrimage. Can an ordinary man do? Is he an ordinary man? The son of a carpenter. But does he know of healing? He has given sight to the blind. He has made the lame walk. But if he has a cure, he shall come. the woman in my house. What did he say? Return the woman to her husband and she would be cured? <laughs> A likely cure. Why, he'd whip her from his door. <laughs> Turn the woman to her husband and she will be healed. Were those his very words? Yes. And they... They laughed at me! He is a charlatan.
terms that women wear. I would sooner see you dead than give you back. Struggling on a cross. I shall never be well again in this world now. Then curse him! Let him go out and spit on him. What did he say? I will not wait for you, but you shall wait for me until I come to you again. What did he mean? did he mean? When could that man ever come to me again? was a curse. Yes, it was a curse. Thank <laughs> you. 
Now I might well die too. And she and I, and the Nazarene, will be fit company to paradise. has begun. And so the pageant of the years goes by to the days of the first crusade. See him now following at the heels of war, a man such as he was, without an added year upon his head. I have caused inquiry to be made, but no one can give me satisfaction as to whom this unknown may be. He follows ever at the heels of war. Huh. For sport, I take it. <laughs> For sport. No one knows from whence he comes or whither he has a mind to go. This unknown makes a sport of danger and jests of death. <laughs> he might do that in employment of our crusading arms. But I care not that he should cover his face that naught may read his looks. He will not serve under me, but if he sweeps by knights from out their saddles, who are his followers? Has anyone here spoken with his men at arms? One fellow only does attend him, no more. A man of stranger race from beyond the eastern seas. Yet I cannot call him the unknown knight if I would ask him to fight beneath my standard. Find me his name. Ask of Olisakar the Jew. He knows many secrets. <laughs> We've bled him dry of all but these. He is not dry, my lord. Each time we squeeze him, he cries for mercy, but weeps a ducat more. <laughs> Find me the old miser. <laughs> you are wanted, Jew, by my Lord Prince. Who is this stranger knight who tilts today? I know no more than you. Uh, my Lord, uh, what's the device of the machine? A triple dagger argent broken in three. Yes. My wife had speech with him but yesterday after the tourney. Speak with her, my Lord Prince. Bring her to me. I'll sit this matter to one end I can. There is no man but one I know of whom this knight might be. And who is he? There is a man, my lord, a member of our wandering race whose name is whispered around the fires at night. <laughs> Send for me, my lord. I did and will inform you. But let this Jew progress. He tells a tale which will invite your curiosity. Now, Jew, this man is? It is he, my lord. They call the wandering Jew. <laughs> there is no reason to that tale. What tale? It is said, my lord, that as your Christ did carry up his cross to Calvary, this man, a citizen of Jerusalem, did affront him because of some spite he bore him, and that a Nazarene bade him 
walk the earth until he should come to him again. So for these thousand years and more, he toils the ways of life. A man such as he was, without an added year upon his head, wandering and waiting for that Christ who died on Calvary, and to in that sepulcher you fight for. <laughs> Saving your presence lies buried in the dust. Of whom does he speak, my lord prince? Of this strange knight who plucks the honors of the lists today. But what has he to do with this man the Jew speaks of? Might he not be the same, fair lady? He does appear in any place, in any guise. The same? May God forbid. There sounds his challenge to the Gekka. You come and watch the final issue? Tis to the death? I would rather. You will forgive me, my lord. The sun strikes hot for these dead camels. I have but heard of him. They say he last was seen no more than 50 years ago in Mytilene, where I have a son. The last challenge is to the death. Not there to see me fight? I did not dare. The get down was so sure. You did not search for me today, and tomorrow I shall be gone. So we never meet again. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Tonight.
Have you ever seen a blade like that? Broken? Yes. I broke it. Yes. The wife of the Boricour is coming to me tonight. And uh, should the husband follow, I would not even like his death to disturb me. She Can you see what kind of man I am? Let me see you as you see me. It was a dream I walked in as I came here to your tent. With shame to bear me company. And yet I could not turn back. <laughs> it was love that brought you. Father. 
love that brought me. You only steal an hour's oblivion. <laughs> I do not steal forgetfulness. But here and there, I take it if I can. I never met a man so sure of fate as you. You never met a man so burned with love. And now, with two more centuries passed on, see him, a merchant, beneath the sky of Sicily, treading his path along the peaceful ways of merchandise. So beautiful, so wonderful. Oh, sir, the silk is of rare weave. Oh, will you not? Oh, no, buy no, 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 no. What else have you? Here is something not to be bought every day. Observe the workmanship and the setting of the jewels. Your wife is calling. Two hundred tuppets. One thousand. Matteo! Two hundred fifty. Mm, One thousand. Matteo! <laughs> Women must wait on business, eh? One thousand. Three hundred, my last word. I take it. son in your arms. Oh, Matthew, a physician, quickly. Mario, Mario, Mario. Master, physician, get, 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 get. 
Oh, no, no. What's the matter? Your son has been bitten by an adder. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 No, no, there. Yeah. Mario! Night is past, my child. Your son is one with God. May the light of a new dawn break forever on your soul. No, 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 not that. went with flowers to the grave. Alone? I do not know, Master. with the dead. There is no death, Matteo. Our son but waits for me until I come to him again. Mario! Oh, 
Master Andrea, I, I have journeyed far. I will speak to your master in all haste. There. Once more, they persecute our race. I come to warn you ere it is too late. Gather your goods together and leave Italy. Tonight? I cannot go tonight. You cannot? No. I will not go without my wife. There's one who has stolen her from me. Who would dare? She is yours. Load all you have and then be gone. Take the husk and leave that which I need most? No. What can you need than that she should be your wife? Andrea, she has a soul. A soul above the littleness of life. It's that I cling to. What if her body is still mine? I stay to keep a watch on them. cannot be. It's true, Matteo. The light of God has fallen upon my soul. You have stolen her soul from me. I steal nothing. Her spirit, in its grief, has found him. Deep in my heart, he has come to me. The Nazarene. If she must bid farewell to me, let us be alone. No, this is not true, no, no. It is. Giannel, if I should lose you now, our boy has gone. My world, we're empty. Not tell We belong not to each other, but to God. I help you thus until the end. The end? Yes. Death. If you were to kill me now, 
I still should be with him. I'm not he who dares to deal with death. Destiny, to each his fate. We all are wanderers in a foreign land between the pharaoh and the stars. Beneath the iron heel of church and state, in old Seville, as a doctor, honored and beloved, he practices the healing arts. taken away from me with the fear of death. You were afraid to die? Is there anyone who is not afraid when his hour comes? <laughs> I was afraid once. But that was long ago, my friend.
is there who would come to this house? Oh. Oh. Yes. Yes. Dr. Batadios. He is a friend of the poor. He is at the hospital just across the square. I beg of you, go and fetch him quick. Quickly. You too. Olaya, Olaya Quintana, she's hurt. She's afraid no doctor will come to her. She needs me. That's all a doctor needs to know. Good of you to come to me. I did not think you would. Why? Kindness is not shown to women of my trade. Hmm. The doctor does not consider the trade of his patients. is enjoined by order of the Holy Inquisition upon all faithful sons and daughters of the church to aid in the conviction of all heretics and particularly to seek out diligently and inform upon with all haste any who are suspect of being Jews. There is magic in your hands. No. That's only part of my thing. Bring her each day to me.
time will complete the cure. Does time heal everything? Everything. Hmm. I wish it did. Since I have been coming here and have listened to your words, I feel that there is nothing that I would not give if I could undo the past. What's done is done. But there's hope for some to find redemption for the past. What hope is there for me? A greater hope than many. Come on, let's try a little more. So, one. The doors of Holy Church are closed against me. What hope have I when Christ shall claim his own? My child, it would go hard with Christ to know his own if he should come again. Sit by this little walk, yes, come on. Watch this better day us closely. He has hardly left our sight these eight days. And yet you have found no evidence that he's a heretic. Nay, it is our firm belief he is a Jew. We must walk warily. This doctor has much influence around him. He has found favor, it would appear, with all classes of our people. That is true. Even with the women of the street. What mean you? Olaya Quintana is a frequent visitor to his house. Patient. No doubt. Something may lie in this. Seek out Olaya Quintana. Question him. He spoke to her of other matters then, outside his province of position. Indeed. Much that was comforting, though I did not understand all that he said. He is a strange man, this doctor. Strange, yes. And with the strangest sayings. Touching those sayings, what did you fail to understand, my daughter? His last words to me. He spoke of Christ. Of Christ? He said, it would go hard with Christ to know his own if he should come again. came to my house. They questioned me of your words. What words? You said it would go hard with him to know his own if he should come again. Mm -hmm. I meant no harm. <laughs> of course not. They followed me. Afraid of what? The torture. Hmm. You need not fear. You did not speak those words. It's I they seek. What have I done? God could not rob me. Of what could you be robbed? Of love. I love you. As Mary of Magdala loved him. As 
even come so near to me? Watching. Bid them enter. What do you mean to do? Olaya, to keep you from the pain of death. I can submit my life. No, no. You cannot leave me. I cannot be alone. How could death mean so much to you as your life means to me? Olaya, once I did plead to keep one by my side because I was afraid to walk alone. But she was caught, and I was left. I need your life so much. So, he is not the end. I must go on. I must go on. You bear us enter, sir. You did but anticipate our mission. We have cause to ask you, sir. What is the meaning of this woman in your house? I was ill and am come here for his attendance. When we have need to question you, you can reply. I await your answer, sir. I can content you with no better answer than you have received. the authority of the Holy Inquisition to bring you before the Council, where such questions will be put to you as will enforce reply. Search the house. Doctor is a man well known and loved of many in Seville. Yet it would seem that he has uttered violent words against the church. I have tried to draw him into speech, but he will not reply. I will await my judgment. That was all he said. Let us question the woman Quintana before we have him here. Yes. How long has this bad idea been a doctor in Seville? Around 16 or 17 years. What is the power this Batadios has over you that he can turn you from a life of shame? Such power as it would seem to me that Christ did have on Mary Magdalene. <laughs> Something fearless in the man. He bears himself with courage. He faces but the instruments of death. How will his spirit muster before death itself? You are Matthias Batadios? I am. You are a doctor in Seville? I am. The charge against you is of heresy. Now what have you to say? I have no word to say. Do you deny all authorship of these vile words? 
It would go hard with Christ to know his own if he should come again. I have no word to say. We and instruments we have that have been known to make the very dumb cry out. I am a wandering member of a wandering race. Answer the court. Are you a Jew? I am. You do confess it? No power could ring the Nile from my lips. But uh, what if it means death? <laughs> that is a great meaning, sir. What if this doctor is a Jew? His deeds are clean. The people will not suffer him to die. And it is plain to me that torture will not break the iron of his will. I have a torture that will make him wince and bend the iron till it snaps. We have questioned this man closely and can extract no answer to our charge. So, failing proof, we shall set him free. This court doth therefore assume that the words of heresy were from your own tongue and heart. And so our sentence is that you shall die. I cannot die. I'm afraid. Oh, Lydia. I am not good enough to die. Speak for me, master. How can he help you now? I do not know. You are better that you did. The torture will not comfort you so well as death. I do not know. You called him master. What is it makes him that to you? He has been that and more to me. It was he that taught me. Go on, go on. He taught you what? I do not mean. He taught you what? What shall I say? Hold fast your heart. He cannot touch you there. Speak for me, master. Do you speak, Paradios? Yes. The world. They are mine. There is doubtless some simple explanation in your mind. Never before has the spirit of the church been so exalted as it is today. Mm -hmm. I have watched the growth of Christianity till it has long outgrown all likeness to the tree it was. Must we listen? Let him speak on. I bid you ask yourself. Will Christianity make its Christ? Or in the end, will Christ make all men Christian? By what sign should he know you if he came again? By your pity? You have none. By your humility? I am not he to judge you for your pride. By your love? Whom have you loved? Unless it were the little being of yourself. This is reviling on the church itself. Still let him speak. And yet, perhaps, I wrong you when I say there is no sign by which Christ now would know his own. There is a sign his eyes would turn to. His cross that you have kept. But in its gold and silver, in its precious stones, the pain he bore on it is all heaped out with pride. No. It was not a cross like that he carried. Rough beams of sycamore it was. And where they nailed his hand, a little twig clung to the mother tree. That was the only jewel on his cross. 
and they who mocked him then, who mocked him and, and spat on him. Was that such mockery as yours, whose hollow worship in a painted shrine is more unreal than spittle on your lips? For such words as these, your eyes might never see the light of day again. Hmm. I have outgrown timidity. What age is he? What age are you? Answer the court! If I should say, the court would not believe. Embrace here now the faith of Holy Mother Church. And on the morrow in the marketplace, before all people there assembled, declare you were a Jew upon whom the light of this our Christian faith has fallen. Think you that that would bring me face to face with Christ? Life is a sweet thing, but adios. This is not life, this little body. Balance on a spinning globe. It's just the glance we have of life, which is eternal. And death is life's most glorious opportunity. Your sentence is of death. God grant you have the power to bring it to effect. This is the last time I will speak the mercy of the court. Will you accept the holy sacrament? No. The spirit of your Christ is nearer to my heart. As I stand here, Jew, than ever it could be to you. We'll hear no more. Out of his own mouth, he condemns himself. He does. Is this the judgment of the court? It is. It, it is. is. Mateos Badadios, you say you long for death. My brothers here award it you. It awaits you in the marketplace with tomorrow's more. Take him away. Matthias, Vatadias, before the court of the Holy Inquisition, you have declared you are a Jew. Do you still so declare yourself before those here assembled? I do. Then by the court, you have been charged and found in blasphemy against our Holy Church. Hear then, all people, the judgment and the sentence of our Holy Inquisition. The court decrees that at this stake you shall be burnt to death. 
and may Almighty God have mercy on your soul. Amen. Master! Master! It was I who brought you this. Child, you may have brought the great deliverance. Soon, I shall have learned the truth. My relief, not yet. What light is that? The light of heaven. Thou hast come to me again. If I do not mistake, he's already dead. Swift, the people must not know. Rekindle the flames! And toll the bell! Matthias Matthias, the Jew, is dead! <laughs> <laughs> 